Hi guys, we're here at Trinity Chapel with ERUCC for our fifth edition of Church Street Chat. I'm Kelly Noel Esslinger and this is, is Jenna. <laughs> Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So before we get into the deeper questions, uh, really quickly, some favorites. Um, what is your favorite song? My favorite song to sing is called 10,000 Reasons. Um, it also has a uh, subtitle of Bless My Soul. Um, it's just been something that's kind of grown up with me, um, and I've sang it with a lot of different churches over the years, and it just means a lot to me, so it's a good nice. song. Yeah. Favorite color? My favorite color is magenta. <laughs> nice, nice shirt. Thank you. <laughs> and um, favorite TV show? Well, I don't watch too much cable TV, but I do like to stream online, especially Hulu. Um, and right now, I just found all seven seasons of Bob's Burgers, which is my nice. favorite. I do like that. Yeah. That's so, nice. <laughs> class. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, uh, how long have you been involved here at ERUCC? I do believe that um, this start of August 2017 marks um, the one year anniversary of my ERUCC experience. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks. Um, fun. So briefly tell us how you ended up here. How did you get to your UCC? Well, I do have three UCC pastors in my family. Mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of born into the UCC church, um, particularly in Pennsylvania. And so my family had a close connection with Barbara Kirshner Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually got a birthday gift from her on the day of my birth, December 20th, 93. And... Um, so I've been at, through a lot of UCC churches in Pennsylvania, and when I moved down to Frederick for the job after college, um, my family got me in touch with BKD, and I've been here ever since. Nice. Yeah. That's very cool that you have that history. Absolutely. Um, so when you first experienced ERUCC, you said you're coming up on a year. Uh, tell us about that first experience. What was it like? Yeah, so my first worship service was here in Trinity Chapel. Um, so I liked having the early service just to get my mind in the, in the gears for school year because I'm a teacher. Um, and so it was a very meaningful service, very intimate. And afterwards, I asked if they had any community involvement and told them that I was looking for Spanish um, opportunities. And they actually redirected me right away to the school supply drive, which was coming up. And um, so I was able to get involved right away, and it really told me that ERUCC is super involved in the community, and we're always just ready to help other people. Yes. So that's been very powerful to me ever since day one. Nice. And the school supply drive is coming up again right around the corner. Yeah, exactly. So that's exciting. Uh, so besides the school supply drive, how else have you been actively involved in the life of the church since you started? Right, so I come from a musical family. I've played the flute since fourth grade. I actually started at a church um, talent show oh, in cool. fourth grade. Um, and nice. so f coming here, I was really excited to get involved with the church choir. And mm -hmm. so Allison has been a great director, and everyone's been an amazing group to work with, very musical, and we're all so talented. And <laughs> I've also enjoyed playing with the bell choir. Yeah. So I started that in December, and I got to go to the um, regional conference, I believe it was, in Ocean City. And you and also got to play at General, General Synod, Synod. That's just very about a month ago. So that was really fun, and I've been very thankful to be involved in the musical aspect of ERUCC. Cool. Yeah. So being a fairly new member, uh, what are some of your hopes in um, different ways for the future like to get involved in the next few years? Absolutely. Um, so I definitely am excited to start on the confirmation journey as a mentor. I went through in eighth grade, um, so that was a while ago, but I'm excited to bring in some new members to our church. Um, so I look forward to that. I, mean, I look forward to taking on a deacon or an elder mm -hmm. role sometime in the near future. Um, if I were to think really far in advance, I think I might um, like doing something to outreach to the Spanish-speaking community. Um, maybe co-lead a club or something just to involve people who speak Spanish. And since we don't, since we conduct our services in English, like we could reach out to Spanish-speaking people in another way. 
Neat. and just share the love of God with them. That would be really cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited for that. Great. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. So um, what has finding ERUCC meant to you? Um, it's meant a lot, actually. So when I went through college, I didn't really have much connection to the UCC church. Um, I did have a little bit of a youth group kind of thing, but it didn't really go anywhere. So being able to come to ERUCC right out of college, it really gave me the redirection I needed to get back on my faith journey. Mm -hmm. And um, just having that connection with BKD from my birth and just having my family all know her and trust her a lot has been really powerful in my life. And mm -hmm. so it's been really good to have ERUCC on my side. Great. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, and so before we go, uh, tell us quickly uh, three things that you have learned about ERUCC since you have been here. All right. So I remember one of the first worship services I attended, um, we were asked to write on a brick something about nice. the building community or the building project. And I really didn't know what I was doing at the time, having only been here for like a few weeks, but I'm really excited for that extravagant welcome. Um, and so I'm excited to learn about that and see how much ruckus we're making in the community. Everyone kind of knows that, oh yeah, they're the ones with all those construction things going on next to them. So All that concrete. Yeah, exactly. So that's been really cool. Um, and I also learned that ERUCC is the birthplace of Hood College. Um, and I'm actually a grad student there right now, Yay. so that's a really cool connection. And um, Hood College was founded here in Frederick, and ERUCC has been very involved in the Frederick community. And I just think that seeing how just connected the community is and how important it is that giving back um, is just to the entire community has been really impactful on my experience here, and it makes me want to share a lot more with um, the entire community and just invite more people to help us out and help themselves help others so Very it's been well really said. great thank you awesome well thanks for being here thanks for having me